basically there are two kinds of skeletal mounts in museums today. Most mounts or skeletons of dinosaurs that you see on display are casts of the real bones in either fiberglass or some other light material. But what's unique about the halls at the AMNH is that most of the skeletons that you see are composed of the real bone rather than a replica of the bone. What's done is once the fossil is cleaned up, once the skeleton is prepared, then the curators work with metal workers called mount makers in order to devise the pose that they want the animal to be in. And lots of times they'll make detailed drawings or even scale down models of how they want this animal to look and where each bone will fit. Then they blow those designs up into a full scale mount and have to construct an iron framework called an armature to hold the bones in the position that they want to make sure that if there's an earthquake or whatever, the, the skeletal framework that holds up the skeleton will be strong enough to keep it from being damaged.